Hello and welcome to Love from the Other Side. If you are on this video, perhaps you too are in need of hope. We bring you stories from around the world of people who have shared their near-death experiences. While you may not agree with everything we share, we ask that all comments be kept respectful and kind. With that being said, Let's get started with today's video, which comes to us from Germany. We, my parents and myself, left Cape Town, South Africa in our fully loaded Land Rover to go on a holiday to the Kalari Desert, which is about 800 kilometers distance up north. About halfway there, we were crossing the Great Karoo Half Desert. The wide open valley is known for its strong winds coming from either side of the mountains. We were passing a 40 ton truck with a trailer at a speed of about 120 kilometers per hour. A strong gust of wind blew the rear trailer into our lane. My mother was driving and was able to get out of the way so we didn't get hit. However, our vehicle started swaying from side to side due to the heavy load on our roof carrier. We were almost past the truck before my mom lost control of the vehicle. The Jeep flipped on its side right in front of the truck. The truck had no chance to brake and instead drove on top of us, dragging us along the road, slowing down and releasing our vehicle. Then we flipped five times until coming to a stop in the field with the vehicle on its side. Just a few minutes before this incident, I had unbuckled my seatbelt as I was reaching for a bag across the other side of the vehicle. When I saw how close we were to the truck, how fast we were driving, how much our vehicle was swaying, I thought to myself, this is not looking good. The next moment, our vehicle landed on the side and I was thrown up against the ceiling of the vehicle. I heard my neck crack as my head was bent to the left. Immediately, my sense of time changed. Everything slowed down as if it was switched into slow motion before I entered a space of bright light. In fact, it didn't quite feel like a space. This area did not have any boundaries at all. I felt as if I was floating or flying, but at the same time, my body was melted into this endlessness and I became one with it. I didn't see anything other than light and whiteness around me, yet I was overwhelmed with the greatest sense of clarity and endless calm. I knew to my core, right in that very moment, that I was in between worlds. I witnessed my life passing through me in emotions and was so happy not to have any regrets. I knew I was in this moment where I could cross over into another world and I felt totally at peace, leaving my earthly life behind me. I gained consciousness while standing in front of the vehicle, which was lying on the side with the radio still playing. After checking myself for injuries, I went to help my mother, who was badly injured, and my father out of the vehicle. Considering the nature of the incident, I had only minor injuries, However, I still needed hospitalization. The ambulance took several hours to reach us since we were so far from civilization. The journey to the next hospital took four hours. I was lying in the ambulance, wide awake with my eyes open, starting to see this movie unfold in front of me. I was standing on one of the mountains, looking down into the valley where our accident happened. I could see the truck and our vehicle. In the distance, up in the sky, I saw a creature. It came closer and turned out to be an angel. From where I was standing, I could see the accident unfolding. The closer the moment approached, the closer the angel came to me. As our vehicle started swaying from side to side, the angel, now being overwhelmingly huge in size, lay on our roof carrier hugging its wings around our vehicle. As we tilted onto the side, we were pushed by the truck and rolled into the field. The angel was keeping its wings wrapped tightly around us. 
Once the vehicle came to a stand, the angel slowly let go of us. It kept hovering above us for a while until slowly moving further and further away. I recall saying to my mom that I could see how our accident happened. I had more consciousness and alertness than normal. The color white was whiter than normal. I had a sense of clarity in my mind and body. No questions, no doubts. Everything just made absolute sense. I was completely without fear, so incredibly calm and happy and at peace with myself. Nothing mattered to me in that moment. No sense of time. Just being present, knowing where I was and where I was possibly about to go. I knew everything about myself and others as my life passed. The experience clarified my view on my own beliefs, as if it took away the dust and the doubts about how I should be living and treating myself and others. It feels as if it gave me a clear view on what truly matters in life. The only thing that matters is how we treat others with kindness and love. The experience was definitely real. There was no doubt that my experience was real. It still feels real after almost 20 years. Well, friends, that is our experience for today. I do hope that you enjoyed it. My favorite part was hearing about her being able to see the angel wrapping its wings around the car. What was your favorite part? I would love to hear in the comments below. Until next time, God bless.